familiar, but there are also other farms involved in the case. So that shows how important it is. But what makes it one of its kind, what, uh, one of its kind, is because um, it's the first jungle. The jungler, they were the death squad of the old president in the Gambia. He used to use them to kill people, his opponent, or people that were creating problems for him, um, exposing his um, corruption. Uh, it goes a lot of things. Even for nothing, sometimes he sent them to kill you. So Bailo was one of them. And these people, they were never trialed before. And this is the first time that one, they are called junglers, that one jungler has been tried. And what Patrick said, that Germany welcoming this move is so big and it sends messages, loud messages in the whole world that um, impunity cannot go on and it will be punished. Though it's not even in my own country, but we are having our justice far here in Germany. So we are thanking the um, German judiciary, the German government, to allow it to happen. And we hope that it will be first of many. Thank you very much. You know, for German people, it's very strange that here in this court, in, in little small <laughs> cellar town, <laughs> you know, 6,000 kilometers away, we look what's happened there. What is your message for German people who need to, to, to get a little bit closer? Um, the thing is, um, all the crimes happened, like you said, 6,000 kilometers, but they are crimes against humanity. And the world is like a village, like a planetary village, where if we work like this between countries, it will make the world a safer place. Because it doesn't matter where do you do the crime, we have to make sure that it is punished. And if it is, you are going to get it somewhere else than your country, why not? And that is what German is doing for Gambia. Since Gambia is not doing it, um, for now, Germany is taking that responsibility for the Gambia and doing it. So, I, like I said earlier, I thank um, the German government for allowing this process to be happening in this country. And how was the first day for you? It was very emotional in the court. It was rather technical. Um, yeah, um, I think we will come to the emotional part later in the trial but for now it was just um, things that were supposed to be done with the investigator and explaining things and all that but i believe that when we go in the middle um, of the trial then um, we will understand how serious how gruesome um, the crime committed by these junglers were and i'm sure that we will learn much much more about even things that we never knew. So it will be a very interesting um, trial to follow. Thank you. And what's your message for Gambia, uh, for the, 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 the work there to get uh, justice, to, 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 to get to the bottom of, of these crimes? Should it, should, should it happen faster and, and, and with more uh, pressing? Um, we hope that um, Germany, um, Gambia will do it like Germany. Um, to really extradite things. But now in Germany, we are waiting for what they call a white paper, and that white paper will decide who to prosecute and who not to prosecute. But that is a little bit um, confusing, because um, uh, in our opinion as victims, we have, to, we, we, need, we have to have a say in any decision that concerns us, but not the government taking all the decisions for the victims. And, in this, situ in this case, with Bayelo, I'm happy because it's like a victim-led thing, where us victims, we are working with our lawyer to make sure that the perpetrator is um, brought to justice. But in the Gambia, for example, the government can decide that we are going to pardon this, amnesty this, and that one will go to court, um, you know, and without consultation for the victim's family. And that makes it very serious. Not long ago, um, there was um, the second number two of the uh, Jame, Sanasabali, who actually lived in uh, Germany for a lot of years. But lucky for him, I think he left uh, when we started all these investigations. Mm -hmm. So he was pardoned, and which was so wrong. 
because they never even gave a chance to the family to make sure that they have their day in court. And that is so wrong, you know, and that shows you how important today this case is now here for us because we don't have nobody to pardon by law and us not having our justice that we deserve for almost um, 80 years of waiting. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you come from Gambia, especially for the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we have a representative of Victor.